Happy Halloween. Today is October 30th, 2021, and we're here at Universal Studios Florida to say goodbye to Halloween. We're gonna have some fun, so if you're ready, let's go. It's only 2.50 p.m. right now. Halloween Horror Night starts tonight at 6.30 p.m. and runs until 2 a.m. Now, by the way, I haven't done a Universal Orlando update video for a while, so we haven't been able to talk about the fact that Shrek 4D is closing forever. The Shrek 4D attraction has been here at Universal Studios Florida since 2003, and it's set to close in January 2022. So, I know it's very loud in this queue, but I just wanted to be here to tell you, if you do want to experience this attraction one more time, or a few more times, before it closes forever, get here before January 10th, 2022. That date may change, but right now, that's the posted date for this to close forever. As much as I love Shrek, I don't love this attraction, and I'm curious if you feel the same. Let me know if you like are ready for this to go, make way for something new, or if you'll be sad to lose this attraction. Let me know in the comments. I love watching Rip Ride Rocket go by back here. It's just such a pretty part of the view. One of the first things I wanna do is go inside the Tribute Store because you can go inside the store during the day, even before the event is open, and see if any Halloween Horror Nights merch is on sale yet. Also, check this out. So, a lot of you have noticed that I have a portrait inside the Halloween Horror Nights Tribute Store, and we'll go inside and look at it for a minute. And I did a video explaining how I did it, but for anyone who missed that video, they've asked me how did you get your portrait in there? Well, this is how. Let's pop inside and I'll tell you a little more about it. Let's get a little comfortable here in the parlor. So the way that my portrait is in the Halloween Horror Nights Tribute Store this year is that Universal did this for the first time ever. They had a big sign out in front of the Five and Dime. And if you remember, I was doing update videos before Halloween Horror Nights started. And I do them really frequently. So just stay tuned for those because I'll let you know about things like this in advance, like I'm about to do in just a moment. Um, so they had a sign in front of the Five and Dime when they were releasing this Halloween Horror Nights preview merchandise and they said opportunity to have your portrait in the tribute store this year in the Halloween Hornet tribute store and then you get to keep the portrait after they're gonna mail it to us to keep after I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it but it's pretty cool to be a Halloween Horror Nights prop and get to keep that then afterwards forever. So what you did was you would just pay the money and it was expensive. It was like around $200 depending on the size. You'd pay the money, you'd send them your photo and then you would just get your portrait here in the hallway in the tribute store and tons of people did it. It's been up there the whole season and then afterwards they're gonna mail it to everyone who paid for it. So yeah, pretty easy process. And yeah, you take the photo yourself and then they Photoshop it into what it's gonna be. Now it looks like it was such a success that they are doing it again for the holiday tribute store. Except this time, it's not gonna be a portrait. They're gonna draw you as a cartoon. And I'm debating, should I do it again? I don't know. Should I? Uh, I kind of want to, because it's a cool keepsake and it's a cool way to support the tribute store team. I'm gonna think about it, but let's go check out this store. All right, let's take a little look around, see if anything's on sale. Oh yes, just as I suspected, every year, once Halloween Horror Nights is upon us, a lot of the merchandise starts to go on sale. So we're looking at 30% off a lot of merchandise right now. So for instance, this shirt is running for $30 and it is 30% off right now. Pretty, pretty good. You can get the marquee, the mug. Universal's really good at knowing fan favorites. So we've got the HHN bear right here in the middle of the tribute store. And if you didn't spot Earl the Squirrel, he's been up there in the stairs this whole time hiding. He hides in tribute stores. He's kind of a tribute store mascot. And you can even get a wax figurine of the HHN bear. The tribute store is so cool. So they sell themed merchandise to whatever holiday the store is themed after, but it's also a fully themed experience. You should definitely spend some time in them. Let's check out the next room. And this year they also did sort of a, a story spread throughout the store. Really cool. I love all the detail and work they put into this. And guests seem to love it. The store has always got a lot of people in it. Everybody loves the icon room. One of the many cool things about the Halloween Horror Nights Tribute Store in particular is that it's a good way to like dip your feet in. If you've never been to Halloween Horror Nights before 
or you just kind of want to get a taste of it without you know doing the full-fledged event yet you can visit the store and get some really creepy amazing vibes and beautiful theming and see merchandise and sort of get the theme of the year maybe before you decide whether you want to attend although i do think everyone should try it at least once to see if you like it because most of us tried it once many many years ago and have loved it forever i really like how they've created this victorian mansion theme this year and i love that they've created this second floor it's so cool and you only see it if you look up i'm gonna take you into the portrait hallway now and show you mine and sam's these are so cool and we're gonna get to keep these and take them home with us and tons of people purchased portraits this year. It was really popular. They only sold a limited number. I'm sure they would have sold more if more would have been available. As I'm seeing guests walk through, they're admiring the portraits. They seem to really like them. And I even hear people asking like, how did people do this? And I'm telling you right here, right now, you heard it first, you do it by coming out to Universal Studios Florida and purchasing it in person. I haven't decided yet whether I'm gonna do the holiday one. I'm thinking about it, but I feel like I started this. I've gotta see it through. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Let me know what you think. But if you wanna do it, you can do it, as far as I know, you can only do it in person at Universal Studios Florida. You come in, right now they're selling them here in the Tribute Store, um, but like when the Tribute Store closes, maybe they'll move that over to the Five and Dime like it was before. That's a store up in the front of the park, but either way, there will be a sign letting you know, or you can ask a team member, where do I buy that? And then they'll tell you the process too, so. Hmm. They actually added a wax collectible of the tribute store itself this year. That's really cool. And that's definitely collectible because it's only this year's facade. They always add story elements in too. And I feel like they get more and more detailed every year. I'm not seeing any sale prices on any of this merchandise yet. Maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure, but there was the mug and a few shirts up at the front, 30% off. Hopefully tomorrow or maybe the next day, the rest will go on sale. And of course, they've got a whole area full of delicious treats, specialty themed Halloween Horror Nights goodies. Oh, it does look like the Horror Nights candy is 30% off. And then of course, the final room with the Shady Brook carriage apart and the township of Cary, Ohio black so cool and all the sounds it's just they also added these collectible coins and it looks like tomorrow is gonna be your last day to get them because I asked a team member and they said they were closing after tomorrow wouldn't be open on the first let's head back out into the park it's so cool being here during the day and seeing these signs covered up knowing that these will be open in just a few hours. Another really major update going on here is the Revenge of the Mummy is closing for a major refurbishment in January and it's going to be down for a few months. So if you want to get another ride in on the Mummy before it goes down for a few months for a major refurb, I think that date is January 7th, 2022. They're already starting to shut down parts of the park for Stay and Scream. And like I mentioned earlier, that's guests who have both a Halloween Horror Nights ticket for tonight and some sort of day pass to be here during the day or during Stay and Scream. So I'm here in front of the Mummy and you can't get past that barricade behind me and other parts of the park are blocked off too. So it's, it's only a little after four, it's not even five yet, so just know that will happen earlier than five. The barricades are up all over the park to get ready to be holding areas for people who are gonna be in that stay and scream area. They wanna be the first ones to go into the lines for the haunted houses. It's now five minutes to five o'clock and it's time to hustle and get into the stay and scream area. You can ask team members and their signage to show you where to go. So here we go, we are five minutes until 5 p.m. It's so scary. Heading into Sand Scream. All right, now we're getting scanned in. They've got these white tents set up where you scan your ticket and get in. Hello. Thank you. All right, I'm in. Easy peasy. I'm in. I'm behind the barrier. And if you can see all the way back there, there's a different Sand Scream area for Beetlejuice and Hill House. And that area of the park does tend to get more crowded. People are in line early to get to Hill House. 
Beetlejuice and all the haunted houses that are in that area of the park. But I am in the Finnegan Sand Scream area, the New York area of the park. I love this area of the park. This is a super chill Sand Scream zone. We've got Finnegan's, we've got food and drinks. We can watch guests riding the mummy and wait it out and then keep exploring tonight. I do have Express. Express is an additional thing you can pay for that lets you get into a shorter line. So that's gonna help us out tonight. The whole New York area is actually a stay and scream area. It's wide open, you can walk around, you can purchase drinks and food. I love these alleys too in New York, like these back alleys, they're themed so well. It's just such a cool, like relaxing area. And basically you just wait in here until they open the park for Halloween Horror Nights and you're amongst the first to go into the park. There are team members with signs for specific houses. If you want to get in line for one house first, you will find that sign and you can pop right in that line so that you can go straight to your house of choice first. And there's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre line and there's the Bride of Frankenstein Lives line. If you want to get online to get early access to the houses, you must go down this side street. Okay, yeah, they're all on the side the street. Okay, there you go. And you can see these barricades are up, keeping out day guests and separating them from stay and scream guests. It's about 5.30 and the Hill House and Beetlejuice lines look like they are already letting guests start to enter them. So if you get in those lines, every line is sort of different as to when you can get into the park. And just talking to some fellow guests and team members, it looks like getting into these lines are gonna get us into the park about 5.45, earlier than 6.30. So I've gone ahead and gotten in line for Bride so that we can get into the park starting as early as 5.45. It's 5.43 p.m. and they are starting to let us right in. This is so cool. Sand Scream's a great way to just get in early, get those houses in, enjoy the night as early as possible. And right from the beginning, I can go straight to Express. It's still daylight out and we're doing our first house, The Bride of Frankenstein Lives. Oh my gosh, it's just closed, but it's not closed. Woohoo! They have now switched over to the rock and roll music of Halloween Horror Nights 2021 from regular park music. Here we go, we're going straight in. Easy peasy scanned in. Now I've got to finish this little bit of beer left before we go in, but we are literally going straight in. This is just so much fun. There's so much excitement in the air. You gotta finish your drinks before you go into the houses and I'm just, I'm so excited. Even though I have walked through this haunted house a million times, I'm still so excited. Okay, I can hear the chainsaws from Texas Chainsaw Massacre right behind us. It's now 6 p.m. The event doesn't officially open until 6.30 p.m. But guests who did Sand Scream are already going to haunted houses. It's still daylight, so it's so like funny to feel the Halloween Horror Nights vibe while the sun's still out, but it is so exciting. I've already met a ton of amazing people. You're just making friends while you're in line, you're chatting. It's just, it's so exciting to be here Halloween weekend. There is nothing like it. Let's just keep going. There's a crowd of people waiting to be let into the rest of the park right now that hasn't opened yet. The 30 years, 30 fierce scare zone. They're also going to do the opening scaremony when they open the gate, and that's gonna be cool to watch. There's a, literally a rope to drop. Jack 
and Eddie are out and about. And he's there. Oh yeah. Everybody's gathered around to see Eddie in his scare zone and hopefully Jack comes out. But since we're here, let's go ahead and do Case Files Unearthed, one of my favorites of this year. This haunted house is in one of the Shrek theaters and I'm actually going through Express once again. It's really great because even though the line's really short, you don't need me need it, but it does help because there's definitely a difference between the regular lines and Express lines. And since we're in the Shrek queue, might as well take a look at some of these details that'll be going away soon. It says coming soon, but it's going away soon. And here's where you exit from that house, Case Files. And it is so good. It's so immersive. It's so fun. There's just so much happening. I love it. The iconic Mel's Drive-In turns into Mel's Die-In each year during Halloween Horror Nights event. And it's just so cool to see those two letters blacked out and know what it means. If you're wondering about whether rides are open during Halloween Horror Nights, many are, yes, with very low wait times. Feeling a bit peckish, if you will. This year, Halloween Horror Nights went all out with specialty drinks and food and snacks and treats for Halloween Horror Nights. So I kind of want to pick just like one random snack to try tonight and try it. So we are on. The special show Halloween Nightmare Fuel is so good. I showed it on opening night. It's just so, so cool. All of these houses I love. I think my favorite of this year is Wicked Growth Realm of the Pumpkin. It's so Halloween-y, so creepy, and so fun. Puppet Theater is a close second. It's really, really good. I think I am gonna go for an arepa because I've been eyeballing this food the whole season. I'm gonna take my receipt right up to this food truck window and grab my Picadillo Arepa. And here it is. That actually looks really good. So that's a cornmeal cake filled with seasoned Picadillo beef, Picadillo or Picadillo, however you want to say it, uh, cotija cheese, mayo, ketchup, and cilantro. Let's find somewhere to eat this beauty. Fast and Furious Supercharged is one ride that is not open during Halloween Horror Nights this year. I feel like it has been in the past. I don't know. Either way, these benches and this plaza are open, so I'm gonna eat here. Try some of the meat off the top. Mmm. I want a piece of the actual like cornmeal thing, but the meat is hearty and delish. The sauce is great. In the few minutes that it took me to devour that, day has turned to night. Night has fallen, so let's go do another haunted house. About to make our way through the Crypt TV scare zone. Oh, oh, oh my 
goodness. Very cool scare zone, lots of fun and really great photo ops. As soon as this weekend is over, it's going to be Christmas at all the Orlando theme parks. So we might as well start getting ready. got this Chucky sort of photo op going on. It's not a scare zone. It's not a house or anything. It's just a photo op. So I, I've done it a few times already this year, but I haven't done it in a video. So let's go ahead and do it. So the way it works is that you scan a QR code and then you should get the photo just like right away in your, in like a thing. Here I go. So it's just a little photo booth, but you gotta step all the way up here. All right, uh, there it is. It worked <laughs> and you can download them for free. I love the way they've lit up the Men in Black Alien Attack ride building with the 30 years, 30 fears logo because it's the 30th anniversary of Halloween Horror Nights here at Universal Florida. Oh my gosh, Puppet Theater says 10 minute wait. Wicked Groats says 25, that's unheard of. That is very, very good. So as I mentioned earlier, Wicked Growth Realm of the Pumpkin is my favorite house this year. And normally I save it for last, but let's let's just go to it. This wait is awesome. I do have Express though, like I mentioned, so that does cut down on the lines quite a bit. So let's head right in. And here's where we're going. We are literally going right in. Just the facade, just showing you the facade should give you an idea of how cool this house is. Right over here is Puppet Theater, which I love. And so the house I just did smelled like pumpkins, but Puppet Theater smells like baby powder. And I think it smells so good, but I just heard someone mo moaning about it and it was funny. And there are a lot of people out tonight for Halloween weekend, of course. So now we're exiting, but we're passing by the facade again. And you can see just how cool it is with the flickering jack-o'-lanterns, all different carved ones with different personalities. Of course, one has just become like an internet sensation this year. Lil Boo, he's in there somewhere. The puppet theater wait time has gone up just a little bit, but that's still wonderful. And basically that means with Express that it's a complete walk-on. So next up, puppet theater, let's do it. Getting right to the Express line. Yes, thank you. And that's it, I'm scanned in once again, and we are going straight in to puppet theater captive audience. Look at how cool this facade is. A broken down old theater. And it is really creepy in there and really, really good. I love, 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 love this house. I'm just gonna give you some facade vibes while we wait. The facade, we're right about to go in, but look at how cool that is. Okay, camera's away, here we go. Sprung tent one, baby. That is just so good every time. It seems to get better and better. The Simpsons area of the park is wide open for fun and games. Next up, we're about to walk through the Gorewood Forest Scare Zone, home of the Terra Queen.
the Terra Queen and her minions, or all the many things that have come before. It's just like picturesque with all the trees and stuff. And if you decide you want to purchase Express while you're already here, they have these booths all over the park. Look for these signs or ask a team member and you can purchase it and sometimes it's discounted later into the evening. Let's take a look at the Seek and Destroy Scare Zone at night. It's so cool. I think a lot of people did not know that you could submit to the controller and it talks to you. I did this one day. Behind the sound stages here is a shared area for, there are tons of different lines back here queuing up for at least several different of the houses. So we're going to Icons, but these lines are for many, many different houses. But it is crazy back here. And then they've got this projection up here, pretty cool, pretty fun. Oh, Chucky, sci-fi. So far we're just walking right in instead of waiting in these huge lines. So. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we walked, 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 and now I'd say we have like five more minutes and then we're in, 10 at most, but it just looks like a lot because again, there's just several different houses that all have queues back here. The uh, Hogwarts night lights at Hogwarts just went off and we can see it from here. <laughs> and here's where you exit out for icons and it was so good as always. They have a different icon on the throne every 45 minutes, so we had the director, and he was all doing his director thing, and it was really cool. <laughs> People are really playing the games and having fun, too. And see, here's the beauty of Stay and Scream. I did that first thing of the night, and now it's nearly an hour wait. So even if you didn't have Express, you would have been able to pretty much walk on first thing. We're gonna head out through the 30 years, 30 fear scare zone, but I do wanna say that we do not know what will take the place of Shrek here in this sound stage. Uh, we just know it's going, but let's, let's head out. <laughs> Good times, good vibe, good Halloween Horror Night season 2021. All I see everywhere is people having fun, having a good time, laughing, screaming, and just living it up. So yeah, I'd say great, great. 
sales so far here in the main store either. Keep my eye out tomorrow.